What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another Keep Halloween Alive. I know this is going to be like a different one, but this is going to be more of a discussion of Halloween. So I wanted to start it out by saying that last year's Halloween was probably one of the worst that I ever seen. Okay, so there were Halloween stores that were lowest stock and it wasn't just Spirit, but they were the biggest one. Every Halloween store I went to, there was like nothing to buy pretty much. And even when I went to Spirit, I was hoping they would save the day. Every single one that I went to, and I think there was like three or something like that that I went to in Columbus, none of them had the full setup like you saw in the flagship video stores. Less than half was set up. Some of the animatronics that they finally did have wasn't plugged in and not working. Then I had a couple stores I went to. They had the setup on a couple of them but nothing to buy. So I kept going back and back and trying again for like over a month. They never received any products to buy for props. And when it came to others like Party City, I didn't do a video on them because once again, there was nothing to buy. Their shelves were like empty last year. So that's why with this video, I'm hoping to discuss Halloween with people like you out there who love Halloween because we need to keep this alive because it's scaring me that Halloween is dying down because the more you look around, the less that people are celebrating it and the less that are decorating for it. It, it kind of makes me sad on the inside. So I'm hoping that we as a community who love Halloween all year round can help save it a little bit and maybe influence others to start decorating, celebrating a little bit more. And my question is to you, what would you do to help out your community to celebrate. One thing that I'm going to try to do, I'm going to look into it so if I can find more info just stay tuned and I'll do another Keep Halloween Alive and update you if I can. I'm going to try to see if there's something I can do to like rent out like a little rec center, nothing like too extravagant or something like that, but something that's small for a hometown and do a Halloween party there and see if everyone could chip in like a little bit goes a long ways and we can have a big Halloween party this year. I know there's still a lot of people that love to celebrate Halloween around me, but like I said, they don't decorate. And it seems like every single time I decorate, and if it's early in someone's eyes, which I don't care, I love Halloween all year round. I love to celebrate it so-called early, but it touches me when they say they're influenced to start decorating themselves, but they don't. And that's why I wanted to thank you guys. The ones that keep coming back and watching these Keep Halloween Alive videos is because I know I'm not the only one out there that loves to celebrate Halloween all year round. They think about it. They watch Halloween themed movies all year round. They listen to Halloween music all year round. They may decorate their place for Halloween all year round. Kind of like I have my half bath that's decorated for Halloween all year round. I wish I can do more, but I'm a bit obsessed with my photography to start decorating the whole house like that. And plus, Tori likes beach theme and stuff like that, and she likes movies like me, so I also take that into account, but if I could, I would do more. And that's the point of this video, like the reason why I'm discussing Halloween topics is because it really does need a boost, and I know you know what I'm talking about, it's just, it's one of those holidays to where I think, in my opinion, it's the best holiday, it's the best day all year round, and I just wish that people can feel that same joy I get out of it. I wish I can spread that same feeling to everyone so they get where I'm coming from. But people like you who come back to watch this video, thank you so much because you get it. So I'm sorry I didn't have anything planned like to bake a Halloween treat or to show you some kind of like Halloween project that I was going to do. But I just wanted to start it off this year by talking about it getting the ball rolling and maybe do something better for the next episode of Keep Halloween Alive, but it's not going to end right here. Let's hop on the computer and I don't know if I've shown you this in the video before, but there's a website I want to show you. I'll put it in the link in the description because it's the website I go to all the time. Whenever I need that Halloween boost, I go to this website and look around at the decorations. I look around at the projects that I can possibly do and try to come up with something creative to do for Halloween this coming year. Okay, this is the website that I was talking about right here, Indestructibles, and they have a Halloween section, and check this out. I went to Recent, and you can look at the Recent Uploads, 
in this website. For example, let's check out this Halloween DIY pumpkin tower right here. That is a pretty cool idea. This is something that you can do for relatively cheap because these don't cost no more than what, 99 cents at Walmart. Just buy a lot of them and make a tower around your door. Now this one is a really cool project right here. This little uh, tube Halloween prop, I really love it. And it looks good on their little display right here. So once again, it'll show you how to make stuff like this. So check this website out. And as you can see, there's a little bit more right here. I love this dollar store indoor Halloween cemetery. That's a pretty cool prop piece right there for like the kitchen or fireplace or anything like that. On page two, you have things such as a glow in the dark sign. So if you check out this website, let me know in the comments, are you going to be doing any of these projects? Are you going to give one a try that's in your mind that's not on this website? Please let me know in the comments below. And here's an app that you guys can look into. I'm not sure if it's available for Windows, but if you're operating an iOS, check this app out called Autumn Leaves. Once you click it, all the leaves start to fall. It only costs 99 cents. I had to buy it. You'll see like apples fall and everything. So that's pretty much going to do it. Like I said before, I'm sorry this ain't like a detailed video of Halloween. I just wanted to start it out with the basics and then we'll get rolling into something better hopefully when I can produce another one. So let me know in the comments below. Let's keep that Halloween flow going in the comment section and influence each other to bring that spirit alive. Thank you everyone for watching. See you guys in the next video. Check you later.